So here's our Rob McLean boiler after adding the barometric damper. And we've got to call the fire up here. There we go. So we're really poor draft here. And as you can see the numbers are going pretty high, but that's common, especially when I first fired up on a cold boiler. It doesn't uh, ignite all the fuel. Carbon dioxide just being unburnt fuel. So you get high numbers and it drops back down and hopefully what we're going to find now that we've added the barometric and removed the draft hood so that we control that air and we force the air now to flow through the burner chamber down here all that in. Now, drafts through the boiler, the cast iron exchanger, gives us better energy efficiency, dispersing the heat better, and our numbers should balance out and get under, under control and steady here. Still dropping a little bit. We were in the hundreds here before, shot up. Quite quickly, it wouldn't stay put. It was uh, CO rising conditions. So, just by adding barometrics, uh, yes, you have to modify manufacture by removing the draft hood. And we do have paperwork, we do have a law in effect that we can modify manufacture when it, if it's a dangerous appliance. We can fix it with barometrics. It is legal to do so. And we do have a document that says we can do so. For those who may be concerned about modifying manufacturer specifications. Now we still don't have much of a draft. So typically I'm able to, even though I've got a really poor, I don't even moving that, uh, that bubble yet, but even though I don't have, there you can see it moving just a hair, now, it's, now we're warming up a bit, so we're getting some draft, but we weren't dumping, uh, I didn't see this moving whatsoever, uh, so it keeps, it takes the air into control and makes this appliance safer, so it's, it's uh, not high levels of of CO unstable because of the design of the uh, draft hood when you have a really poor draft in a garage application and you can correct these problems and make them safe again relatively inexpensively and this didn't take but about an hour and we're going to add some carbon dioxide alarms inside the hole and this is now a much safer appliance thanks to using barometric.